Wow. Okay. So part three, um, to, uh, forgot what I labeled this. My allergy story, I think is what I'm labeling this series. So anyway, my husband was coming up the stairs, so I had to end my, my, uh, contact thing. So yes, I, um, the last three years, I have had issues with my allergies relating to my eyes and the first year I just went with it would take my contacts out and rinse you know wash them in my hand put some renew in my eyes swish them around make sure I try to get all the eye boogie junk out and then I'd put my contact back in and I'd have to do that like every hour it was getting rather annoying and very frustrating so I would have to do this and um anyway and and I'm sitting here you know last year I said I am not doing that this year I am going in I'm gonna make an appointment so I made it was really hard to convey what I was taught what this you know because I didn't even think that allergies could affect your eyes I literally thought something was going wrong with my um glaucoma so I made an appointment and I'm like <laughs> kind of freaking out a little but not really uh you know and you know it just I go in and they check under my eyelids and it hurts you know because they stick their finger and they pull your eyelid up so they can look under your eye and that hurts um and they just did a whole bunch of tests on my eyes and they're like yeah, you got, you know, allergy-induced pink eye. And, you know, it it doesn't ever get to the point where, you know, it, I don't need to take special, you know, antibiotics for it. Well, you don't need to with, because there are three kinds of uh, pink eye. There's bacterial, viral, and then there's allergy. These two, the, aller the bacterial and viral, are contagious. One is contagious at a certain time, and another one is contagious at a different time. I don't remember. And then um, allergy-induced uh, pink eye is not contagious. I mean, I could touch my eyeball and touch somebody else, and it won't, you know, there's nothing, nothing. You know, I could touch my eyes and then touch something in the house, and somebody touches that, they won't get pink eye because they don't have allergies. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, this is really frustrating. So, I mean, I could be driving and I could blink and then just smear stuff all over my contact. And then I'd have, uh, it's not, sometimes it gets blurry, like to the point where it's really hard to see. And some, like right now, it's not blurry. Uh, like if I, I went and already washed my contact between the last, you know, part two and part three of this video here. I already washed my my right contact because of it. Uh, my left one doesn't seem to be as much affected this year um, as last year. It was both eyes, but I I am I am my right eye is my dominant eye. It's my main eye. It's the only I do not see out of both eyes at the same time. So uh, my right eye, if something ever goes wrong, I probably will never be able to drive again. Even though I do have vision out of my left eye. But my vision, my left eye vision is so much weaker than my right eye. I, it's hard to explain, and it's, and honestly, I don't really want to explain it because people then look at you like, oh, poor you, you know, or I'm sorry to hear that, and I, I absolutely hate hearing I'm sorry for whatever, you know, and it's like you're not really sorry. Don't say it just because you think it's something I want to hear. It's like, when at my mom's funeral, I had so many people, I didn't even know, coming up to me and saying, I'm sorry for your loss. And it's like, who are you? I, and how do you know about me? How do you know, how do you know my mom? You know, it would have been easier if you just said, you know, I knew your mom back at blah, blah, blah. We went to high school. You know, that would have been better than hearing, I'm so sorry for your loss. Oh, mm -hmm. That's another topic, and that will be a topic around May 6th, um, the day that she died. So that'll be a topic for that. I think it was the 6th. Is it the 6th or the 8th? It was one of those two. Anyway, um, so back to the eye stuff. So this year, 
Um, I'm taking that medicine. I think I did a. Uh, I don't know if I ever actually did. Anyway, there's an eye drop you can take, and it's really, really expensive. It's so expensive, it's not even funny. I think I paid the last year. I paid fifty dollars, and that was after my vision plan paid for. You know, most of it, and I have pretty good insurance. You know. I have pretty good eye insurance for things. I mean, like for contacts, my insurance company pays $150 for my contacts, and then I have to pay whatever beyond that. And this year I had to pay $75 beyond the $150 because uh, Cooper brand, Cooper? I think it's Cooper. Cooper or Copper? I think it's Cooper. I think it's two O's. But if it's not, you know what brand I'm talking about? They raised their price like $100 this year. Because last year, I only had to pay $5. So they were $155 last year. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, so anyway, my, my doctors, uh, I see two, uh, two specialists for my eyes. I see a specialist for contacts. Because, yes, I don't just, I can't just go to a Walmart and say, yes, can I get contacts? Uh, because I have, A, I have glaucoma. And B, I have a fakia. That's where a fake yeah, I think so. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. Like I said, not doctor. I don't know doctor terms. But what it means basically is I do not have lenses in my eyes to focus on things. So you know how when you're looking at a video and the things back there, like that turtle, it is in focus even when my hand is up here. That's how, and, and you can see my hand in focus, plus the, the turtle back there in focus, unless I somehow make, I, I, think I can make the camera focus on my hand and blur out the rest. But my eyes don't do that. I, um, I, I see this turtle at the same, uh, if I were focusing on it, and if I were looking at my hand, and the turtle is still there in the background, I can, I can see both at the same focus. I, I, Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's still off topic. Off topic. We're not talking eye stuff. Anyway, so, um, so anyway, that medicine costs like 50 bucks and it's only a little tiny bottle. <laughs> and I got another, you know, refill for this year. And it's like, I started taking it last week. No, at the beginning of this week because I started having the issues earlier this year. Um, I didn't have any of the, the mucus issues in with my eyes until around next week. So I guess I should have started it early because they say you're supposed to start it two weeks before and uh, it's just been, it's been rough. I mean, look, last week we had a funeral to go to, so we did a bunch of driving and you know, that was spring break. It was the day after my birthday and oh my gosh, oh, so it was a busy week. But anyway, I, you know, I, I hate this. I hate this. So, like, if I'm driving, there's nothing that says that I can't, like, I'll blink. And, you know, then they'll, it'll just cloud your eye, you know. And it's like, I don't like that. I thank God it has not happened, but it could if I were driving. But, you know, I'll notice if I'm, like, working on some housework and I'll blink or I'll blink a bunch or I'll rub my eye and next thing I know my whole contact is cloudy so I need to take it out wash it and do all that um I hope that anybody else who has um allergy issues does not have these issues I don't know if it's because I already have pre-existing eye issues on why I get why my eyes are being affected for, for my uh um uh, uh, allergies because you know I had allergy I think my allergies started they started mildly in two in 2010 mildly like after I came back from Florida because we went on a trip to Florida and after we came back uh, I noticed that I was having mild breathing issues. It was nothing bad. The next year, it was nothing horrible. Um, I would just take Benadryl, wake up the you know in a couple hours, and you know, and my nose would be stuffy, and oh, you know, and I would sneeze a bunch and and blow my nose, and you know, if I didn't if I didn't known back then that those were all signs of. Uh, you know, having allergies, I would have done something a lot sooner. I didn't do anything until like 2013, maybe 14, 
something like that. That's when I started doing stuff because I need, I, I, now, right now, I have to carry an inhaler with me at all times because all it's got, all I got to do is take an inhale of some pollen that I, or something that my body says, oh my God. And then, and then the next thing I know, my, my, I can't take any deep breaths. I can't breathe or I'm wheezing or, and this year is more complicated because I've been having more hot flashes. I'd say around, um, I would say around, uh, October of last year to currently, I've had more hot flashes in my perimenopause than I've ever had, and I noticed that my cycle is becoming not as frequent as it used to be either. Because when I first started having perimenopause, my my period would still come every every month, you know, on the the off days when you're not taking your pill. And okay, why did I get on this topic? I don't know. ADD. <laughs> anyway, I don't like how this is affecting my eyes and. Let me know if you have the same issues with allergies or if, like, maybe it is because I'm pre-exposed because I already have um, glaucoma and, uh, you know, I already have eye issues. Okay, now this is the end of um, allergies because i got to actually get outside and go look at some plants that I need to make sure and see if they're going to pop up this year for, you know, regrowing. See if they survived their first winter. <laughs> okay. All right. You guys have a great day. Bye.